one. No one knows how many species of animal there are on the planet, certainly several billion. Around 1.5 million have been scientifically described, but we don't even know that number precisely. Number two, most animals are insects. They're the real success stories of the animal kingdom. Number three, animals have been on the planet for a very long time. Around 540 million years ago, there was already a massive diversity of animal life in the sea. Number four, the largest and heaviest animal that ever lived is still alive today. That's the 30 meter, 150 ton blue whale. But that might not be the longest animal. That honor might go to a thin, delicate marine ribbon worm called Linnaeus longissimus, which is reported to grow to 50 meters in length, but still only a few millimeters in width. Number five, it's common to split the animal kingdom into vertebrates, that's animals with backbones like fish and frogs and ourselves, um, and invertebrates, the animals without backbones, but it's not a neat split because the vertebrates are just a tiny twig on the great evolutionary tree of the invertebrates. Number six, our understanding of the evolutionary tree of animals, that's the who is related to whom question, has changed massively. Even some ideas that were unshakable for a century have, been proven, have now been proven to be wrong. We now have a new tree of the animal kingdom. Number seven, the earliest branches to diverge in animal evolution gave rise to things like jellyfish, um, and sponges, they're sort of the animals which don't have a front end, while the rest of the animal kingdom split into three major groups. One group includes most of the animals that molt, like insects. The next group involves, um, includes animals like snails and worms and many, many others. And then the third group is the group to which we belong, and that includes things like starfish, sea squirts, and the vertebrates, which includes us. Number eight, you may not know it, but you are more closely related to a goldfish than a goldfish is to a shark, and you are more closely related to a mouse than a mouse is to a cat. Number nine, one of the most remarkable discoveries in the whole of zoology concerns how the body develops. From flies to worms to snails to fish to humans, there's a common set of genes that instructs how to build the body. Number 10, animal life started in the sea, but animals emerged onto land several times in evolution. The insects, the centipedes, the spiders, the snails, and the vertebrates, each of those groups emerged onto land separately and independently, and in a few cases, they've even gone back again. 